I'm Shelby Bonney, and I'm the host of the Innovator Series, brought to you by Technology for Obama. And I'm here with Drew Houston, who is the co-founder and CEO of Dropbox. I think for many of us here, one of the most popular new companies that's been around in a while. Uh, Dropbox is over 50 million active users now, is serving close to a billion files a day. So it's really gone from a very small company in Drew's mind to something really big and really important. So it's a pleasure to be with you, Drew. It's a pleasure to be here. So I thought it might actually be helpful if you could just tell a little bit the story of Dropbox and kind of you know your background and how you got there. Sure. So uh, I had uh, just finished up college, and um, like a lot of people had, I had a um, I was sort of managing my life by carrying around this little thumb drive, and it was like on my little leash, or I'd be emailing myself stuff, and uh, it was just the kind of thing that drove me nuts. And one day I was on a bus to New York, and I had that, I get on the bus and I had that feeling in the pit of my stomach, like something's not right. Because I had, I had this fantastic checklist of all these great things I was gonna accomplish you know, on my computer on the way to, the, on the way to New York, but uh, from Boston. And, uh, but I, this vivid image appeared in my head of my thumb drive of sitting on my desk at home. And so all those great things I was gonna do just totally evaporated. Uh, I was probably looking around for Family Guy episodes or something to watch, but then I'm like, all right, I, you know, I'm an engineer by training. I'm like, it's time to solve this problem once and for all and open up the editor and started writing some code, which became the first version of Dropbox, um, which is this really easy way of having all of your photos, documents, everything you care about with you. And, and, and we do all the heavy lifting around taking care of it so you never have to back things up and, and, and so on. So. And so tell me, so from that point, sitting on the bus and you starting to, to write code, how far was it until, how long was it until you, you know, raised money and actually started hiring people and doing things like that? It was pretty quick. Um, there's a lot of uh, great ways to kind of speed up that process. And so we got some really early investment uh, from a group called Y Combinator. Uh, I teamed up with a, a classmate of mine named Arash from MIT and uh, started for a few months in Boston and sort of did the whole dot-com dream, moved to Silicon Valley, moved to San Francisco uh, and started building the company from there. And, uh, it was the kind of thing, yeah, boxes weren't even unpacked, and we found ourselves with a check for a million dollars from Sequoia Capital, uh, one of the great venture firms around here, and, and we were off to the races. And, and I think for many people, I mean, the name is so perfect. I mean, is there, was that the name, did that literally just pop into your head, or was that, how did the name come around? It, it's funny, because the Dropbox.com was taken for a long time. So we started with that name, that was just something that kind of occurred to Seemed me. Seemed logical. It's a really easy yeah. place to have all your stuff. and. Uh, but there, there was a little bit of a problem with domain names, and so it's probably more, uh, what's a, a more, a, a sort of more, a, an image that's more burned in my head, or an ex experience that's more burned in my head, is all the bad names we tried uh, to to try to get before we were able to get the Dropbox. And, and who had the who had the name? Uh, I was an URL. entrepreneur actually in, in Pleasanton, which is about forty five minutes away. And finally, you just won him over. Yeah. Probably with a little lubrication in the process. Yes, yes. So he was happy. We were happy. <laughs> and when did you kind of at what point in the Dropbox history did you think we've got this and this is going to be an amazing company? There, there were a bunch of different moments, um, some small and some big. Uh, but even just from the little things, just talking to people that I knew, uh, they all had the same problem, and they all did you know, all manner of crazy things to to keep track of their stuff and keep it safe and. And, and, and experience the same kind of frustrations that I did. So it was little things like that all the way up to, uh, along the way, points of validation like getting investment. Um, you know, putting up videos of Dropbox on, on the web and seeing you know, thousands of people just you know, gush with feedback and them just you know, saying, I want this. And then uh, once we launched the product, the, the user growth you know, started off fast and it's, and it's been fast ever since. Well, yeah, I've told you this story, but it, Dropbox effectively kept me out of jail once because I got pulled <laughs> over by a cop, and the only thing that kept me out is I had a driver's license scanned on my on my Dropbox yeah. account on my phone. So That's it's been great. a pleasure talking with you, and really look forward to talking to you more. So yeah. thank you, Drew. Hey, my pleasure.